Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It's Saturday, it is happy Saturday, shopping Saturday, and work Saturday. You guys know that Gabby has to ride Chino and keep him up and keep him going because it is show season and just two lessons a week is not enough to do that. We are cleaning up and getting ready for Easter tomorrow. We have family coming. We're gonna do a rehaul on the chickens. They are growing so big and so fast, I can't even believe it. But I want to give you a little update on Teddy. I call him Teddy Bear. It is a girl, so I named him wrong. I'm 90% sure that he is a girl. So tiny. It is, like I said, it's a silky, silky. I was totally wrong about this bird right from the beginning. We hatched her. And the ways that you can tell, silkies are really easy apparently to tell gender from um, hatch. If you do it within the first week, you can see a couple of different things. On the front of her head there, like on the top of her beak, where her crest is going to grow, girls have like a very defined V shape, whereas boys have like a much wider, bigger U shape because they're going to obviously get a bigger comb. Also, the other big telltale sign is that boys, and this is for a lot of breeds actually, but specifically in this breed, so the way to tell is that the boys will keep this fluffy feathers much longer or a little bit longer than the girls but you can see that she has like really defined feathers there so i don't know if you can see it's hard to get it on camera but see how she's got those defined wing tips right there she's like laura you always feed me well anyway that, those are the two big signs that i can tell that she's a hen but also she's not very aggressive which is not as strong of a sign but she does always whenever there's like a fight breaking out with the roosters in our little in our little box there she always runs and hides and she also always keeps her head down like that boys will usually walk more upright and she walks more like that she's cleaning her bees on you yeah she's like give me the food laura the other thing i wanted to update you guys is with is that i told you i've been like supplementing her taking her out and making sure she has her own drinks in her own water a few times or in her own food a few times a day so that she can so I can make sure she's eating but lately I've noticed that she's right in there like a dirty shirt eating everything and drinking everything she's doing really well so I've stopped doing that last night and she well today is actually the first day I'm gonna stop doing that because she's doing so well <laughs> this is my baby this is Sophie's baby I have to rename it her yeah because, because it's actually a boy yeah we're pretty sure right. I mean I was pretty sure from the beginning not the first few days but she just wants to sit on you right but she's very vocal she's she's a very assertive little chicken <laughs> for a hen she's got the wide thick feet of a rooster. She walks completely upright all the time. She challenges all the other chickens. You're gonna fall, I know. So chances are she's a rooster. But you are the cutest. Look at the difference in size. Wait, put them on the couch because there's better view. So she won't stand there. Look at the difference in size of them. See, she just wants to sit on people. Yeah, she's so friendly. So friendly. Well, he. He. <laughs> I need a new name idea. This is the one that mysteriously showed up and I named him Griffin. So this is another one that we hatched, but also look at the size difference between them. I don't know if you can really see, but Bella. Teddy Bear is so tiny, even tinier than this little chicken. But they're all doing so well. And this one, my friend, this one is um, the one that has like a big puff ball on top of his Yeah. Head. So I thought for sure, well, this could still be a rooster. Actually, it does kind of look like His a rooster. His name is Toby. He is staying Toby. Hi. Hi, Griffin. But they're all starting to get their bigger feathers. Super cute. We love them all. See the difference in size? <laughs> The little one can just walk right underneath that. So that is the stature of a rooster. See how it's standing like a rooster? That's what roosters will often do. And they'll like chest bump each other. But chickens, hens, will often walk around like this with their body horizontal instead of vertical. And a rooster will often stand <laughs> vertical. So do you guys see the difference here? Do you see, do you see what I'm saying? We also will watch them. A lot. We'll just sit here and watch them. That's our favorite thing to do. Oh, see, she knows me. Get away from my girl. <laughs> All right, Toby, I'm bringing so, someone else out. Yeah, mm -hmm. we'll bring out another one so you guys can see. All right, so. Oh, look. Yeah. She has red on her feathers. Yeah. 
She's maybe like a Rhode Island Red Cross. Oh, this is Leo. He so, looks a little rough. So, <laughs> Leo, have you been at the war in a war? So, if you guys remember, Leo is one of the very first chickens that we ever bought. And he doesn't like being touched. <laughs> yeah, he's never been friendly. We gave him the same amount of love as Bella. Yeah, and, and he's he just, just not friendly. Us. But I can't tell for sure if it's a hen or if it's a rooster. To be honest, he's the biggest one. And he's bigger than all the ones born even just a couple days after him. He's huge. So, and he's a cochin. So, I feel like he's a rooster. And he doesn't really fight, though. Like, he doesn't really do a lot of the chest bumping or any of that. And what I was going to say before is that I often, well, we'll just often, Sophie and I, even Gabby spends a lot of time just sitting here and we watch them. Even the dogs do. Even, like, Sam's the only one who doesn't. They're so entertaining. But another thing that um, we sit and watch is we watch like when a, a fight breaks out. And when I say a fight, they'll just like posture. They'll just puff up their chests. When the boys puff up their chests, all the girls go running and they hide in the corner and they stick together. So I'm pretty sure we have like about six <laughs> or seven. Bella did. Yeah. Bella's like, let me under. <laughs> I need to get warm. That, that's Teddy though. That's oh, what yeah, Bella Teddy. used to do. Yeah, look at Teddy. We used to think... She was a boy, but um, mom said that she's a girl, so I renamed her Autumn. I don't know for sure if she's a girl. So are we keeping all the chickens that we hatch? Um, we would not have enough room. No. We have a whole bunch more hatching. Yeah, so we are building a new coop, or getting a new coop, and building a new everything, but we're not keeping all the chickens. We're obviously not, we don't have room for them, and we don't want that many because... We want something specific. Look at that one. She's like building a little nest there. Um, so they're like, yes, a blanket. It's what I've always wanted. <laughs> Let's get comfortable. <laughs> the people that gave us the eggs, we are trading back and forth with them. So we'll be giving them a lot of the chickens and just keeping a very, very select few. Because I want, we want specific chickens. Teddy, do you like biting people's feet? She's like, I like beating, biting people's blankets. <laughs> So I don't know for sure if this is a rooster or a hen. It seems like a, a hen to me. It seems half and half. You can't tell. I won't be able to tell for a little bit later with her or him. But these three definitely look like chickens. I think we have more I think we have more cockerels than pullets for sure. No. We just love watching them so much, you guys. Like it's just so fun to see their colors coming. Yeah. Sophie says this one's also very friendly. Friendly is a bad sign, Sophie. Why? Because the friendly ones turn out to be the roosters. Oh. All right, so there, I just missed it. Well, that one's a rooster. <laughs> oh, he's riding him. She's so cute. I love that one. That's Leo still. I love the feathers all fluffed up and pretty like that. Whenever there's like anything happening, any kind of excitement at all, the roosters come running and posturing and trying to like make everybody behave. What are you? Are you a little rooster? Out of all the black ones, we have three black ones. I think two are roosters and one is hen. All the other eggs that didn't hatch, we waited a few extra days, like many extra days, and then I candled them. Um, none of them were fertilized. Two of them were bad right at the beginning. And the others weren't even fertilized. There were no even baby eggs, baby yeah, chicks in them at all. I just don't like to call them right from the beginning because you never know what could happen. Uh-oh. <laughs> Teddy, <laughs> come back, Teddy Bear. Look how small his feet is. I want to call her Lucy. All right, let's go. We've got a lot to do today, and we're going to take you guys along with us. I just want to check and make sure they're still <laughs> eating okay. It looks like they are getting food from here. But Phineas is really in with the girls lately. See, they kind of are coming closer to each other. I am still feeding them a lot of vegetables from our garden that we grew. I froze a lot of it so I can come out here and give them some of it. And look, they're like, he's really settling in. He's not even much bigger than our hens, actually. Are you going to share? Sophie and I came out here and made the chicken coop a little bit more spring friendly in the winter we had this all wrapped in plastic and tarps 
to keep all the wind and all the snow out because our chickens did not like snow on their feet. So we took out all the plastic. We still have this big, huge thing on top and we're gonna leave it there for the summer because the avian flu is going around really crazy right now. And they say that you should cover, like have something on the top of your chicken coop so that like birds flying over, wild birds flying over, if they like poop, it doesn't go in your chicken coop and your chickens don't get infected. So we're gonna leave that there. Sam's over there reinforcing their door and I'm, and I'm just watching them. It's so fun to see like them all integrated. Oh, hello. He's settling in really nicely. He's such a calm, gentle, kind rooster. And those are my favorite kind. Some people give, some people say roosters are mean, but not all of them are mean. I've never had a mean rooster. And some are really, really friendly. And some can even be like friendlier than hens. If Bella's a rooster, then I know. Yeah, if Bella's a rooster, then for sure she's super friendly. It makes me calm down just sitting here watching them. Like I could just sit here and watch them all day long. It's just so fun for me. I also like to sit here and plan our chicken coop for the next batch of chickens. Like I said, we're not keeping all the chickens. We're just keeping a few of them, uh, specific ones. I know that I said that we're, we had a new site for our new chicken coop that we're getting done. Um, but after looking at it and, and watching it at all different times of the day, like it's so out in the sun and there's no trees. And one thing I love about the chickens here, like I said, they're built completely into this hill. Like there's this huge hill here and it blocks all the wind and all the all the elements and these big trees protect them and they have so much shade in summer and i love that so now i'm thinking that we're going to add the chicken coop on here on this area of our yard not specifically right there but all in here give it to the chickens i'll watch i'll watch all right you guys just gonna throw it in she got a worm. Uh-oh. Oh, she heard it. Oh, it's a worm, she says. Oh, she, she ate, ate it. it so fast. The babies are not that fast. <laughs> She's like, give me more. Anyways, super happy with everything. So one thing I really like about where this coop is too, we have this little arch thing. And all these are lilacs and they grow and fill all this in. Look at this tree branch. Broke. But it all fills in and it just looks so pretty with all the lilacs covering that little thing and it's like a little opening into the chicken coop. So that is enough about chickens for today. Let's move on to horses. I'm already all ready. Sophie's already Gabby's all ready. Still brushing. Gabby's still brushing. Her black horse. Oh. Story of our life. So Sophie's gonna ride this big guy. You guys saw. This big guy. He's doing so good. He fell asleep. Are you having a tr trouble sleeping? All right, so people want to know why aren't your boots done up? Do they fit? Do they fit? I mean, like, I can get them up to help, but it's not very comfortable. So she can get them up. She can get them up. She doesn't like riding with them up. And when she goes to shows, she will do them up, right? She needs to just break them in. And get used to that. Before she got these tall boots, she only wore like the small paddock boots. So, mm -hmm. so she's just not used to them. And I actually leave mine down a little bit too. And they fit me perfectly like a glove. But, and they're not uncomfortable. But I don't know. It's just weird. It's like a weird thing. I like them down a bit. Okay. Hey, you guys are we're both wearing blue shirts. Hey, I wear this We may or may not have got something for Gabby for Easter that will help her clean this boy because it's not nice. Yeah, hose. Shh. Because cleaning him is just like, you she's so slow. Every time. Yeah, she's so slow trying to get him clean. Anybody who thinks that Gabby did not brush Finn, this is Finn in the dirt pile. And she showed me a picture of what he looked like before I was talking to Brandon. She showed me a picture of what he looked like before and trust me, he was so dirty. With Chino, we found that getting the right amount of flat rides to jumping rides just perfect for him, it really helps him. Like she's been doing a lot of flat rides and then one nice jumping ride, a lot of flat rides and one nice jumping ride and he's really like coming along with that. 
Gabby still rides Finn flat when Brandon's not here, when she's not in a lesson, but he did say she's able to ride him now. When we first started leasing him, we agreed that she would only jump with a trainer. Oh. Do I have you in these? But she mostly still does just flat him. She hasn't jumped him at all by herself yet. Chino's butt has gotten so big. Like, look at those muscles. Such big muscles. Let's look at Finn's bum. Where are the muscles, Finn? Show us the muscles. This guy stands so nice when she gets on, doesn't walk away. Hmm. No. No, he like, doesn't. no, he doesn't. But who does? Who does? <laughs> Likely story. No horse I've ever been on, except for Storm. Chino walks away. Except for Storm. I see Storm's Ch the only one who stands, so that's because I trained oh, Storm to yeah. stand. Yeah, yeah. And it's Sophie trained Goldfin to stand too. She did like all that work. No, no. They all did work. She did work, our coach did work, Gabby did work, like it was a big training thing. And so if he doesn't stand, all she has to do is hold a whip in her hand, a crop in her hand, and if he still doesn't stand, she just places it on the other side of him, and he just moves right over to the to the mounting block. Like, it was worth it. So someone in the comment section was talking about how, what helps them to steer the horse to make them go over the jump, because you guys saw it, Sophie was nervous in her last lesson. She's nervous because she's getting used to a new horse jumping, and she's always afraid Denver's gonna get to the jump and then stop. He like pulls him away from the jump, which is a big no-no, so. Somebody said in the comments that what they do when they're going with their steering their horse, they make a shoot with their fingers and they point. So put your hands and then point and make your horse go between your fingers where you're pointing. Like, isn't that genius? Don't you know that you're beautiful?